I first read Leaving G's Ben in the fourth grade, and right now I'm in the seventh grade, and I still love it. Um, um, I found it cool that Miss Latham and my mom were friends because Miss Latham was the first author I had read their book and also got the chance to meet. Um, now, if it's okay with Miss Latham, I'll be part of my favorite part of the book. My knees began to wobble, and the weight of my head seemed to pull me down. I was falling. Falling so slowly, I felt every inch of air as I passed through it. So slowly, it was like being inside a dream. My elbows hit first, then the bottles. Glass shattered everywhere, spraying clear liquid across the floor and onto Mama. Little pieces of glass stuck into my skin, and I could feel blood coming out of the tiny cuts. The morphine Miss Nelson had been so kind to give me found the cracks in the floorboards and the folds of the coat and disappeared. No, I cried, no. Ludelphia, you okay? It was Edda May. I hadn't even heard her come in. I wanted to tell her about the medicine, but my, th my tongue felt thick in my mouth. Whatever words I thought of before were trapped inside with all them tears. Without a sound, Reuben stepped into the cabin. Miss Cobb's pulling up to the petaways, and she's swinging around a shotgun. Dear Lord, the shotgun. As I got, up, got my feet up under me, Miss Petaway started screaming from out in the yard. I don't care who you are. You ain't taking this chicken. Mr. Cobb would have never done us this way. You ain't got no right to take this chicken. I got every right, Miss Petaway. Mrs. Cobb's voice sounded like it was coming from between clenched teeth. You're going to have to kill me first. You hear, Miss Cobb? You can kill me, but you ain't getting my chicken. 